Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about rug pulling and I want to take a different teaching technique on, well, not technique, but how a lot of these scammers are actually doing rug pulls different than, I mean, just letting it ride and then just wiping it all out. So this one was a unique case. As you can tell, um, it went up, so it wasn't a honey pot, and there, there was some buying and selling. So if you bought in, you were able to sell and it, give you a nice little chart and then all of a sudden it just took a massive dip and I want to show you one of the main reasons why this happened so over here on Dex Tools, this is why I like Dex Tools is you have these little red and green so if they if they have, if they have green they they bought in twice and they sold at a profit green means they sold at a profit red means they they bought in and they lost money so if you scroll down, every once in a while you'll come, you might come across these where there's no, there's no color. They didn't, they never bought in, but they sold for 0 0.02 BNB. Now what happens here is when people create a scam token, is they, they, they create the scam token and those, those tokens are all given to their wallet, but then what happens next is that wallet gives tokens for free sends uh, those tokens to other wallets so when prices are high those other wallets will come in and sell tokens that they have even though they never bought them because the original wallet gave them free tokens and with this in this case we can see it actually happened quite a bit it looked like a bot right here sold 1.3 and so this scammer, what they were doing was they were doing everything nice and slow. Here's a, here's this wallet right here, and here's this wallet. And I call this a, a different way to do a rug pull. Another way that a rug pull is done is if liquidity is not locked. Let's see here. So if liquidity is not locked, the owner can literally come in and sell all of his tokens that he has in this wallet all at once. So it could be way up here, and then they could just decide, hey, I'm just going to sell it all. In this case, with this, this scam, what happened was they wrote it, and then they used some wallets to sell it because what they were trying to do is they were trying to push it higher so that they can make even more profit. So a lot of the time, you don't, you just have to be really careful because sometimes they don't burn their tokens or their tokens are locked but they send a lot of tokens to other people and they do it in a way that's very very shady so if we look over let's see here we come back over here we can go to the holders what you want to do is make sure that no one has any uh, of a fat market share in this case what I'm sure this uh, scammer did was he created a bunch of wallets that had uh, not that wouldn't send off red flags to anyone who wasn't counting and I'm sure his uh, let's say he created 10 wallets which is extremely easy to do and he divided up 50% uh, of the or 30% of the shares into those 10 wallets and then he's um, burned or he locked the, the remaining tokens and then as the, the prices would go up and down at peak highs he would actually come in with those wallets and sell some of that and that's why we see a lot of the, the no colors over here a lot of sells but they had no buys so in just and basic that's kind of what a rug pull is and definitely keep an eye out on that if you bought a token and if you do see a lot or large sign of of that going on it's best to get out as soon as possible so you don't lose your money because as you can tell it just it tanked and people that are still in they're not going to get their money back their money's pretty much worthless so don't be one of those people the other thing I really want to show you at the end of this video was back in the reg pool section we talked about this coin this is what um, this is why it's really important to figure out wh how to identify a, um, a honey pot because what these people did was they they honey potted it and then they gave some wallets some tokens and then 
they sold some to make it look like, oh, there are some sellers. So it is, isn't a honey pot. It still is a honey pot because the wallets came in and sold tokens that they, they never even bought. So anyone who does buy, they're stuck with them. They're, they can't sell. So just another quick little tip. Talk to you guys later. Bye.